Let's do a test um, with the Equinox and the Deus. How about that? I got the Simplex and the Amphibio too. I got this um, chain link here, iron chain link, it's broken. And I'll just turn the Equinox on. And I'm going to do it on the concrete today because there's a bunch of, of these leaves and stuff in, the, in my yard there. No iron there. It's working, right? No iron. Turn the volume up here so you guys can hear it. Right. It's not falsing on park one, right? I'll go to park two, multi frequency. Getting a little bit of falsing there. Field one. You know, the falsing in field one is horrible. That's why I do not use field one or field two. See the numbers? Field two is a little bit better. I mean, uh, field one is a little bit, field two is a little bit better. It doesn't false nearly as bad, but you know, um, I can discriminate whatnot, but once you start discriminating, you're not going to get those lower conductive targets out, period, right? With the Equinox, I've tried and tried and tried to get the Equinox to perform in relic dumps, but it just doesn't compare to the dais. So I'll take a little bit, um, I'll take this button right here, right there. So f field two is doing good, and I've adjusted the iron bias, I've adjusted the recovery speed, the sensitivity, I've just tried to get the Equinox to hit these targets around big iron and it's just not doing it. I love the Equinox. I'm going to be taking it out to the ocean here in, this week and be, going to be uh, hunting with a couple buddies. But, see, I'll show you my settings here, right? Recovery speed's at three. It's hitting a little teeny bit. I'll take that out there. It's just full thing, right? It's just falsing on that iron right there, right? Right, I'll show you my settings. Recovery speed three, iron bias set two, F2, right? I can go to FE. Falsing on it, All right? Fe zero. Go up a little bit with it. F two. Fe two. It's not falsing nearly as bad, but it's not hitting this, right? It's not hitting that man. It's not even hit. Uh, it's hitting a little teeny bit that way, right? But I've just tried and tried and tried and tried and tried hours and hours and hours. I've tested this machine on different scenarios and it just falses on the iron, right? It's, those, those higher conducted targets are being masked by the iron right there. And even though the Equinox is falsing on the iron, that higher conductive target makes the iron false even worse. And that happens with all my detectors, right? I get a high tone off the iron even more if there's a higher conductive target next to that, right? And I can tell that it's falsing. Right? Perk two. I want to change anything right here, right? It's just falsing on the iron, right? I'm just getting a bunch of erratic tones. You know, you can, you can lead your horse to water, but you can't make him drink, right? And I've talked about that a little bit in my videos. You know, getting the right combination of coils and detectors and frequencies and swing speed and sensitivity and recovery speed, all that stuff has a, a part in it but i've adjusted that equinox so much man trying to get it hit, hit targets in the iron and it just won't man it'll just false on the iron right i can't get a solid tone on it right 
what I want to do is I want to get a solid tone. I want to get the best tone as I can on those non-ferrous targets in the ferrous, right? I want those non-ferrous targets to stand out of the iron and be clean. I want I want to adjust my my gain, my recovery speed, my my settings to make those targets stand out of the iron so so it's not falsing as bad on the iron. So I'll just turn the dais on here. And I, I love the Equinox, don't get me wrong with this video, but every machine has 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 places where it's going to thrive at. You know, like the Simplex is super durable. The Simplex goes deep, but the Simplex falses on this this um, this this uh, chain link so bad I can't even do a test on it in all the modes and all the settings. You know, I can drop the gain down a bunch, but when you drop your gain down, the metal detector is still being overloaded by that iron right there. No matter what gain you have, it's it's still seeing all the stuff within the field of that coil, all the conductive metals within the field of that coil. And the simplex, you just cannot adjust enough to make it, um, make that those targets stand out and have that iron be rejected so you can't hear the iron. Because that's all it is, you're just filtering out the iron, right? That's With all these metal detectors, you're filtering out the iron, right? And I want those higher conductive targets to, to sound off to give me a response rather than that iron right there. And on the simplex and the equinox, this is not going to happen with all the settings. Right, I'm in just stock pitch program here. I'll go go down, yeah. I'm in stock pitch program right there, number four program. So stock pitch program is going to false on that that iron right there because um, the discrimination is too low. So I'll I'll just show you that right now, right? I'll just show you that right now. You know, this stock pitch program is going to false on iron, so you have to discriminate in pitch pitch program and this is just a stock program right i have other programs that hit this really good all these targets the gold the uh the little silver there this button another button some jewelry and the dais just seems to hit it really really good it, you gotta dial it in though 6.3 is too low right you know i, I can go down all my discrimination And I can get a bunch of iron if I want, right? I can pinpoint that target, right? I know exactly where that is. With my other machines, I cannot pinpoint that because the range of iron in this is so broad that you're getting, just to, to, to pull those higher conductive targets, which are non-ferrous, out of the iron, you have such a broad range of iron that you can tell that a higher conductive target, um, a non-ferrous target is within the field of your coil surrounding that iron right or is co um co-located to the that iron right there and i'll show you with my other machines i cannot set it up like that the, maybe the the dais i can if i put it in gold field but gold field it's gonna false on the, the, the that, that those nails anyway because you cannot discriminate right you cannot discriminate on that um it's, it's hard to explain why the Equinox is not performing in the dumps. I can have, I can talk about it for half an hour, you know, um, but I can pinpoint iron targets and I can pinpoint non-ferrous targets in iron with the dais extremely well. So I can just discriminate that out, right? Nine point one, right here. I, I really like nine point one. I don't know why, but nine point one is really working for me, right? And I'll put this button right in here. It's hitting it. It's even hitting it on the, the end of the coil there. You can ox was not, right? And that's only in 14 kilohertz because when I turn the machine on here with this coil, it just puts it in 14 kilohertz. So I can just go right down to 14 kilohertz with the frequency and boop, boost it up to 31 kilohertz. See, it's pulling that non-ferrous target out of the ferrous right there. I'll just pull this out of there.
it's still falsing on it just a little bit in 31 kilohertz frequency but i'll put it that back in there and i'll show you man i can hear that there's a round target in there there's a round target in there now i'll boost it up to 74 kilohertz frequency and it'll really smack it out right that iron right there is being filtered out in the higher frequencies that 74 kilohertz just bangs that target out big time i've tried the simplex the dais the equinox the amphibio my other machines and they just don't do this right here right the pitch tones is amazing and this is pretty much the stock program all i did was just raise my uh discrimination up to like right around nine and i raised the frequency up to 74 kilohertz and i can even adjust a little bit more here you know i can drop the iron volume down even though when i drop the iron volume down i'm actually putting another filter on it so i have to adjust one more thing because it's at three right now look at that so i'll drop that down to two and it won't hit, hit it nearly as good Watch. see it's being discriminated out right there see the iron volume has a lot to do with taking those non-ferrous targets out of ferrous, right? That are co-located with, with the ferrous. And since I adjusted my iron volume there, I have to do one more thing. I have to raise my re recovery speed, which is my reactivity speed up to three, right? Now it'll hit it really good. Look at that. All the iron just went away. I'll, I'll actually, <clears throat> it's still in the same program. I'll take this out of there and it's not falsing on it, right? right and in full tones this this target does not come out right because full tones that iron this this target is so close and it's it's so um it's so similar to the conductive uh the conductivity of this large object right here that the it's going to give you a low tone on that higher conductive target right next to iron because you have full tones right this this lower conductive target lower conductive target is so close to iron that it just blends those two together and you you're not going to be able to hit that hit on that in full tones so what the pitch tones is doing is it's you're discriminating that iron out but you're so close to that, that iron that you're going to be able to get those just low conductive targets right next to that iron right and what it's doing is it's it's it, you're not going by tones you're going by depth with the pitch and it has a lot to do with your settings right look at that just pulling it out and now i can even go up to four i, I usually don't go up this high on my ne usually never because <laughs> once i go up with my reactivity speed, I have to make a bunch of other adjustments like my audio response, my iron volume, my sensitivity, my frequency. So I usually keep mine right around two, two or two and a half um, on my reactivity, reactivity speed, which is my recovery speed. See, just spanking it out. I'll just take that out of there. Take it out of there, right? It's pulsing on the iron just a little bit. But what I want to do is I want to I want to set it up so I can I can just reject the iron just a little teeny bit just on the threshold of hearing the iron and then those lower conductive targets and even those higher conductive targets will stand right out because this, this is like a mid conductor you know it's, it's a it's a button it's a four hole button just something simple and now I'll go over to um drop my gain down here a little bit and it'll even hit it better. So when I'm dropping my gain down to 71, I can actually go down on my frequency and it'll probably hit it pretty good. Let's see if it's gonna pulse on the iron, right? Not too bad. So when I go down on my frequency, I can actually go a little bit deeper because the higher frequencies, it's not gonna hit this stuff that's gonna be three or four inches deep. It may not hit it. 
So usually when I go down on my frequency, I adjust my sensitivity and my um, my recovery speed and my auto response just a little bit if, if, if it's needed to go a little bit deeper. Because when I first get to a site, I want to go in 74 kilohertz. I want it the highest frequency as possible because there's a lot of iron nails. I want to get through all the iron and I, I don't want to hear the iron. And I want to hit on those higher conductive or lower conduct, any target, any non-ferrous target in the iron, right? That's pretty amazing just for a stock program. And now I'll go over to a program, the Deus Full Tone program, right? I can tell that there's big iron there a lot better in full tones because it's, it's giving me that wah, 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 wah. But it's also giving me a, a low tone. There's a low tone in there. I'll take that button out of there and show you. See, just wow, 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 wow. Now I'll show you what it sounds like, the difference between that. It's still giving me a, like a mid-tone, but it's really irony, a really irony mid-tone. Now I'll go over to pitch tones. My deep pitch program. That's my um, X35 coil program there. This is the, the hot program. These are just different programs I have set up here. This one works really good right here. See? It's not pulsing on it. I'm gonna turn that alarm off there real quick here. I'll take that out of there. This is with, with my pitch tones and the, the pitch tones are a little bit higher. Not falsing. So, like I've said in the past, I, I'm gonna do a test on some gold here and it's amazing. The dais is absolutely amazing on this these gold targets right next to this big iron. Absolutely amazing. Even on this little teeny clasp right here, the dais hits this little clasp right next to iron. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.